Perfect. Yep. Nice. Okay. How do we read this word? Kagi ishi. Perfect. Kagi ishi. No. Sorry. No, you're right. It's kagi ishi because kagi is kagi on its own. So it would be ishi on its own as well. So this is a rather than saying uh, kagi sen yo no ishi, we just are calling it a kagi ishi from now on. Nice, short, and sweet. Um, what's this Hi. bolded word right here? Oshikomu? Oshikonda ato. Something inside. Kind of, yeah. Haneage do kara nimotsu o oshikonda. Ah. From the um, uh, flip door, I pushes, I push in the luggage, which was Perfect. nimotsu. Nice. So that osu here from oshikonu is to push. Um, what do you think oshiateru I... means? Oshiateru, to press. Yeah. And hit. Mm. So ateru does mean to hit, 100% correct. However, it also means to touch. Hi. So it's to basically, press. the the official meaning is to touch, but it's used to mean to hit in certain contexts. So in here, oshiateru is not really you're punching while pushing. It's more like you're pushing something against another object normally. Oshiateru, to push against. Um, Hi. So let's go read the line from the book. Benetto ga sono kagi ishi o Kagi. What? Close. So Kagi is up here, right? With this part. There's our Kagi. This guy right here has setting in it because this word right here means lock. Lock was jo. 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 Jo ni oshiate ru to. Mon no Kagi ga. Here we have kagi meaning lock and jo meaning lock. I guess kagi Hai. is like the pieces of the lock that is used to lock something. Hi. So, Bennett pushes against the um, the rock that is a key. That rock key, um, he pushes it against the the lock itself. Right. And as he do that, the key of the door, the key of the gate, it open with the sound. Perfect. Yeah. Right after he does that, it opens. Do you remember how to say that dark night bridge word? Yami yobashi. Perfect. Yami yobashi. Nice, nice. Um, how about this word from way back, I think, in chapter two? Chapter two. Monban. Hi, Monban. What uh well a monban as you know is a guard that guards a gate. Do you know what how to read this word is? How to read it? Uh jun junban. Right. What is jun? Do you know junban? First time seeing this book, but uh, it is a common vocab word. So it's just seeing if you already know it. Is it a bookmark? That's a good guess. A, a heading... so bookmark is shiori. Junban is the order of something, like to do something in turns. So if you go one, two, three, four, this is an example of something in junban. If you said one, three, four, two, this is not junban. 
So Junban just lets you know there is an order and it's normally in order, right? There's a first and a second and it's in order of first to second. Junban. Okay. Um, what did Tadori Tsuku mean? Tadori Tsuku. Sono Tori Ba Made Tadori Tsuku. Uh, to uh, to to arrive at the destination. Right. Arrive at a destination. Made it. Perfect. Paduri tuku. To arrive and kind of pause for a second. So this word right here, which was our turn and order word, ends with ban. What did it start with? Uh, shu. Yes, it did start with a shu sound, but it was actually with rendaku. Ju. And then had a n sound. Jun. Jun. Okay. Um, you do that, so I'm skipping that. So let's go read the line from the book. Tunnel wo tsusumi mon o junban ni tori nuke tori nuke yami Yobashi ni deru kaidan no shita ni tadori tsuketa. Tadori tsuita. But it's from tsuku. Tadori tsuita. We continue through the tunnel. We tori nuke. We passes through the door, the order of the door. Close. Or the door, so, the, the gate in order. Yes. In sequence. In sequence is a good way of translating this one, one by one. So it's letting you know that Khan did not go through the gate at the exact same time as Bennett. Most likely Bennett went through first and then it was Khan's turn. Tori Nuke. Cross through. We uh we emerge or we arrive at not not arrive at uh we deru when we came out at the um Bridge, the shadow afternoon bridge, the shadow right. night bridge. Yeah, darkness uh, night bridge. And we finally arrive with Tadori Tsuita. We arrive at the destination, which is below the stairs. Hi, perfect. So you specifically translated this section as if there was a period right here, but there's not a period here. So what is it actually saying with the yami yo bashi ni deru part here? Uh, it's modified kaidan. Oh, so cool. it said that I've beneath the stairs that lead out to or that exit out Perfect. into the bridge. Yep, I arrive at the bottom of the stairs that exit out onto the darkness bridge. Um, do you know how to read this word? Ikika, ikikao. Hi, ikikao. You can also read this as yukikao, but yuki is, from my understanding, falling out of place. So the dictionary will first show yukikao, but lately kids these days are saying ikikao. So ikikao Hi. means to come and go. So it means someone going left and another person going right. A lot of times it's used with like crowds or describing like a street, for example, with cards coming and going type of idea. Ikikao. Um, can you read the sentence for me? It's tori ni itoga ikikao. It's um we um 
the people that passes through, they come and go. Good guess. Tori. They go. You thought tori was a verb. Toru. Toru. Which is a verb, which means to go through. A tori, though, is a noun. Specifically, it is a noun to reference a locate something you can go through on, as in a road. Tori is a way to refer to roads. So what's happening on this road? The people on the road, the people come uh come and fro. He, they, they, they come and go. Um Sewa Shinai means to be restless, to not calm down. Sewa Shinai, which is a E adjective, of course. What is the adverb of Sewa Shinai? To not calm down. Yeah. Form Sewashinaku. Hi, Sewashinaku. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Veneto ni suite hashini ue gari. Hito ga sewashinaku. Ikikao atsa no tori ni deru. Can you say this word for me again? The verb up down here. Ue? No, no, it's not ue. I'm sorry. It's sagari or agari. Agari, agari. in this context. Hi. Sagari. Sagari is a step back. Um, sagaru. Right? Hi. Hi. So what happened? Benet ni suite. Ask for Benet. Hmm, no, that not it. You are kind of correct. That is one of the meanings of the word. Um, like you're talking about with the hanashi, but here it's uh the tuku to attach suite. Like to go along with. Follow Benet. Right. Up. The bridge. Right. Up to the bridge, because the bridge is our destination. The restless people, or the people is restless, or the people are restless. But specifically, so, we have a adverb. Restless leave. Leave. Hi. The people restlessly come and go. Right. Mm. And this coming and going is modifying the noun asa. Right. Or asa no tori. So, you want to do the larger noun phrase. But not tori. In other words, we arrive or we came onto the street where uh, the street was of the morning. So in the morning time, where the people are restlessly coming and going. Perfect. Hi. Do you know how to read this word? It means direction. Ho -ko. Perfect. Um, starts with ho. What did it end with? Ko. Perfect. Let's go read this example sentence. So no ho ko ni wa akebo no the directions or that at that direction is the district of Akebo no perfect or the district. Hi. Do you know what magaru means in this specific sentence? Futari ga kado o magaru. Two people, they magaru at the kado. Hi. 
So they turn the corner. Exactly. Two people turns the corner. Perfect. Do you know how to read this kanji? Migi, as Perfect. in right. Okay, let's go read the sentence. Benetto wa migi ni makata. Benet turns right. Tatsugare gai no hokoda. The direction of Tazugare district. Hi. Right. So this right here, they stepped up onto the bashi. And he's like, hmm, which direction will I go? Will I go right or left? This would be Vanette's right or left. Because uh, this would be uh, my left and right. So I'm facing this way. Uh, so he goes this way. Toward Tazugare no gai. Uh, oh. This word. How do you read this word? Junban. Hi, what does Junban mean? Junban is the sequence in order. Hi, perfect. Um, can you read this bolded word for me? Makura yami. Perfect. Super dim darkness. Hi. Right. And our only thing you need to know here is this word actually. Basho. So, um, do you know this word? Oh, ko, ko hmm. Good guess. So this kanji right here is hiroi, which does have other ways it can be read in certain contexts. Um, here it is. Um, does keep the hiro from hiroi. So it starts with hiro. Do you know what it ends with? Hi. Hiro ma. It's in Hi. a wide Hiroma. space. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to skip this one. Can you read this word for me? Ura. Oh, I'm sorry. Yami. Yami ichi. Hiroma. We actually haven't seen this one in this place yet, so it's not ma. You know how to read this guy? Hiro uh, ba? Hiro ba? Yep, hiro ba. Perfect. So a hiro ba is like a plaza, and yamiichi is a dark market. So yamiichi hiro ba is the black market. Right. Or shady goods are sold. Um, do you know how to read this word? Um, the word is buhin. Perfect. Buhin goods and stuff. So the night market started with yami and ended with hiroba. What was this guy in the middle? The uh, ichi. Perfect. Do you know what yasui means? Yasui is um, cheap, like Perfect. affordable. Yep, let's go read the sentence. Yasui buhin o. Uru, for uru to sell. Uru yami ichi hiroba. The night market. Uh, the... We said a hiroba is the the place, the, the large area. Yes, like a plaza. Like a plaza. So the plaza of the night market, uh, where they selling um cheap merchandise. Right. Okay, let's go to the next okay so tomori is something we've already seen which means when you're like you're saying you attend to do something key can also be used for that specifically for like questions like what do you intend tend to be when we'll see this specific key um this key is used in other ways as well but this is the version we're looking at now where it's at the end of a sentence with a question mark to ask what are you intending it's just key with a relative pause on top of it so you can kind of think of it as your spirit 
is going to be doing this action. That's how much you intend on doing that. Um, can you read the, the example sentence below? Hi. Majutsushi no kai sai. So do you intend to go to the library or no, not the library, the Close. office? Yes, the study, the magician the study. Of the magician. Uh, hey, do you intend to go to the study of the magicians? Okay, so we have Khan right here talking, most likely to Bennett. Eto, yami ichi hiroba e ikuki. Uh, are we? Are you going to the night? Uh, the plaza of the night market. Yeah, night market plaza. What was this word again? How you read it? Uh, yeah, sweet. Ah, yeah, sweet. Perfect. She, she, can you read this word for me? Shinamono. Perfect. So shinamono is just another way to say goods. Um, what is the adverb form of yasui? The adverbial is yasuku. Perfect. Yes, good. Nice. So this word ended with mono. What did it start with? Uh, ishi mono. Good guess. Good guess. It is not ishi. Ishi means rough. This is she uh, then something. Shira mono. Good guess. It is na. Shina. Shina mono. Shina mono. Hi. Shina mono. What is the passive form of teni ireru? Teni ire rare ru. Teni ire rare ru. Perfect. And how do you read this word right here? Shinamono. Perfect. Let's go read the line from the book. Yami ichi hiroba nara. Tazo garege. Tazo garegai. No. Doko yomori. Mo. Yasuku. Shinamono o teni ire rare ru. If it is the plaza of the night market, or the night market plaza, um, we can't, we. We Sorry, can this get... is a potential form in this context. It's the new verb. So potential form and passive form are identical. So I was skimming this. <laughs> should be potential form in this sentence. Credit. Right. We can get the merchandise, che uh, the cheaper, cheaper merchandise, even even more, even cheaper than that of um, doko. In this case, uh, doko yori mo basically means anywhere. Anywhere. So no matter, it's not like doko ka, which is somewhere, right? So it's a doko mo, meaning all locations, right? So mo with doko. Right, like doko ni mo inai means there, there's no, they, they do not exist anywhere, right? So doko plus mo is the anywhere or nowhere word. So, um, so more than any place. Any place more where? Any place. Tazogare gai, Twilight right. District. Perfect. So if it, if it's the night, if it's the night market, Plaza. We can get the cheap perch merchandise anywhere hmm? in Tazo. That's a good guess. I missed. 
So Tasogaragai is a location that does exist in Tasogaragai. That is a correct thing to know. However, that's not what it's saying. Doku yorimo means more than any place in Tasogaragai. This location, which is also in Tasogaragai, but more than any of the other places we're talking about in Tasogaragai, this location is a place that you can get the cheapest things out of anywhere in the Twilight District. So it's, the, in other words, it's just the cheapest location that gets stuff in the Twilight District. That's all it's saying. Um, not that you can um, get cheap stuff anywhere in the Twilight District when you think about this, which, which is not what it's saying. Do you know why we're using nada here? We see if in this in the sense of um, like if we were to go, it's a hypothetical. Kind of, actions. yeah. Specifically, it's like if that's what you intend, kind of idea. It's a if you with a hypothetical kind of idea with the you being like if this is the location we're talking about. If this is our conversation topic, is uh, what it's used for. Um, because theoretically, if this wasn't our conversation topic, then we'd want to use a different if here. But because we're clarifying the topic, the topic we're talking about, we use nada. Because remember, the previous sentence was, "Hey, are we going to the Twilight District?" And then it's explaining if we're going to the Twilight District, right? If we, then that place is the cheapest place to get stuff. So that's why it has that we or you kind of idea um, in it rather than just a plain statement saying, this is the cheapest place to get stuff. Um, anyway, I... how do you read this bolded word? Might have forgotten. It's Ishi Adama. Wow, nice. Yep, it is Tada. No ma though, because there's a me right here. Ishi Tadami. So you got the hard part. Tadami. All the reading on top is. How about this word? Maybe this. Sen -kurai. Good guess. This is us usu from usui, which means um, kind of like transparent, kind of like dim, faint, usui. So, what does usui gurai mean? So good eye is murky. Right. That is definitely what it means. In this specific context, it is more like um dim or gloomy. Just but because we're describing a mise. But the other word would be a great way to describe like if you were saw this word like describing like a cave or something. Um, so this is not a direct word to translate. This is a metaphor, right? Um, but this is what the word normally means. You don't use this directly. Um, it's like an idiom, I guess. What does meo hikaraseru mean? Hikaraseru. The light. Hikara. Literally, yeah. it is I um is illuminated, right? Which is doesn't have any real meaning. I is made to illuminate. I illuminate my eye. I make my eye twinkle. Um, on my surroundings, I make my eyes twinkle on my surroundings. How do you think this could possibly mean? Hmm. What is the reading for the word surrounding again, Mon? Sui. The Yong. Sui. Yong. Yomikata. It's Sui. 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 Sorry, sorry. I don't know why I was writing that. Sui. <laughs> Sui. So is to keep an eye on your surroundings, to keep a watchful eye, to have one eye set on your surroundings to make sure nothing's happening. 
got one eye open. Now, got us it. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense in a literal type of way. My eye, I make my eyes glitter on the surroundings, to the surroundings, but it's to keep an eye on the surroundings, to look around, to be careful. Um, what was cobblestone again? It's Ishihara me, or mm. here is Ishihara ma. You got worse. It is Ishi, Hara. and it does end with the me and have a da here. What's the first sound over here though? Ishi hmm? Ha. Yes. Ishi tadami. Perfect. You accidentally said ha. Um, I... What was that dim word? Faint. It was a uh, us 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 so with this word, to be lightly dirty means to be slightly dirty, but all over, like fully surrounding the object. Um, let's skip that. Oh, wait. What is this bolded phrase? Ishi tadami no michi. Perfect. And what does that mean? The path of cobblestones. Perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. Usu yo goreta Ishi tadami yo Tsusumi nagara Atari ni Me o hikara seta As I um, As I continue On the cobblestone uh, that were slightly uh, dirty all over. Um, I pay attention to the surrounding. Perfect. Um, do you happen to know what man means? Man. It, uh, man is a thousand or oh, ten thousand. Right, ten thousand. Perfect. So this is the kanji for man, ten thousand. How about tazuneru? That's a hard verb for you. Tazuneru. Tazuneru. Ore wa oi kakete tazuneru. Doku e ikun da yo? Doku e ikun da yo? Where you going? Oh, I, I, I request, I re, um, I ask of my, um, I, I right. ask politely. Yeah, it has been in it to ask. It does have a little bit of a uh, politish kind of idea. The idea of tazunedu is that the focus is on the asking, while if you're using kiku, the focus is on the listening to the answer. <laughs> it's as weird as that is. So they both mean to ask. But you can take that tazunedu, and we got this word called o tazune, which is a noun. An o tazune is basically looking for but like a noun or asking for but a noun so the act the one that is asked for kind of um do you know what this bolded word is i had not my hand it is, is a horrible trouble hi can you read this example sentence for me So here we have Tara. If if we were to capture, if we were to be captured by the minions of the uh, Lord of uh, twilight it would be uh disaster it would be uh very trouble perfect 
Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Manga ichi. So this is a idiom, a real idiom, idiom this time. So literally, it is one in ten thousand, right? Man one, I mean ten thousand and ichi one, and this means by chance, right? One in ten thousand by chance. A lot of times it'll be used in a way like, I, if by chance this happens, blah, 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 blah. So it's a use with uh, if statements normally. One in a thousand. If by chance this happens. So right here we got the mangaichi with the if statement, tada. Um, so let's go I, read this sentence. Ore wa higure no kimi o no o tazune Mono Manga Ichi Hikure no Kimi no Te Shitani Sukamatara Taihenda. Right. So who am I? Orewa, I am Otazune Mono Otazune was that now. Right. That mean the act of the right. person who asked. The I one who asked am the person of the Higure no Kimi. Yeah. So in other words, the, he, the man of the Lord of Twilight is looking for me. He's asking for me. I am a person that the Lord of Twilight asks about. He's like, where's that con wire? Where could he be? He took my click clacker that one time and I'm mad at him. Uh, next line. Hi. One guy ichi, if by chance, he could no kimi no te shita ni sukamatara taihenda. If by chance I were to be captured by the minions of the Lord of Twilight, it would be very trouble. It would be big trouble. Perfect. And how do you say this word for goods? It is Shinamono. Perfect. How about the black market plaza? It's Yami Ichi Hiroba. Perfect. And how about that little word right here that meant um faint? Lightly right. faint. It is Uso. Here is Usu. Su. Is it Uso? Su from Tsuki. Usu. Usu. Usui. Um, can you read this word for me? Is ke hai. Perfect. So we got ke from that keyword. Ke hai is um the vibes things give off. It is the aura, the the vibes. Vibe check, guys. Ke hai. Um, a lot of times you will sense a ke hai with kanji do, right? Ke hai. Hai. Um, ended with hai, like in kanpai. What did it start with? Ke. Ke hai. Hai, ke hai. Perfect. Um, do you remember how to read this word? Ken. Perfect. Ken. Dangerous. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Ah, no. Ke hai wa kiken da. That vibe is dangerous. Perfect. Some dangerous vibes, dangerous aura. All those great words. Um, what's this word on the bottom right here? Kanjirare masen. Hi, from Kanjirare. Hi. And what kind of feeling is this? Is this for physical feeling or emotional feeling? Or like um, sensing feeling? Vibe feeling. <laughs> it's a feeling of something else, not like your internal feelings, but feeling yes. the environment. Yeah. Um. In this specific case, is a vibe feeling. Um. Uh. Say ki ga kanjiraremasen, which means I cannot sense their vitality. Cannot feel any vitality from here. So it has a lot of sense meaning, but kanjiru. I think can also be used with other things. Um, 
This word started with K, which was on the screen for one second. Do you know what it ended with? Hi. Give up the, the aura. Hi. K, hi. Perfect. It's hi from district. Is it? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Like distribution. Kanji means. My first thought was, come by. Yeah, it does have um, which in isn't in that kanji. Come by. I swear it was. Uh, which is, I'm hungry. What's wrong? I swore it was in there. Huh. But yeah, okay, hi. <laughs> but you gotta look up before you tell people stuff. <laughs> Shows up in shinpai. Hi. <laughs> Shinpai. That's like sorry. Shinpai shinai. Like don't worry. It's a worry. Hi. Yep. Your heart is high. But yeah, let's go read the sentence. Ure no i um deshi wa kehai o kanjita. I feel the vibe. <laughs> Who feels the vibe? Um, it's not the apprentice. What kind of with apprentice? With a good skill. Yeah. A skill for it. Nice. He Perfect. can feel the vibe. Uh, let's skip this one. Okay, let's go read the line from the book. Demo. He can so na ki ke ke hai. I can so na ke hai wa kanji na kata. Asa hai kara. Higure no kimi no te shitara te shita tachi wa mada o soto o so soto soto ni dete. Inai Rashi Demo, but he can so na Kehaiwa the aura that is such of such danger. Yeah, such a, an aura that aura. feels like danger. Right. An aura that feels like danger. Um Kanji Nakata. I, I did not felt. Asa Hayai Kara. Um, this Kara is the end of the clause. Yes. Uh, so it say that because it's early morning. Yep. Asa Hayai Kara. Gure no kimi no te shita tachi wa mada soto ni dete inai. The minions of the Lord of Twilight had not come out. They, Tachi, they have not came out yet. Mada, not yet. Hi. Mada, Totoni, Rashi. outside yet. Rasi, it seems. Perfect. Since I cannot see any danger. So, so. Do you know what Magari Kuneru means? Magari. It's the noun that means make a turn. Kuneta is kuneru, winding through. Right. So I, wait, how did turning and winding go together, Mommy? Right. Well, I have drawn a picture. One of these is magaru, and the other one is magari kuneru. Which do you think is which? It's A. Hi. A is magari kuneru. kuneru. It insinuates multiple magarus because kuneru also means to turn, basically. So it's uh, one of those you say the same kind of word twice in order to let us know this is happening a lot. Versus just magari, we could assume there's just one turn in something. So here, this is describing the tunnel. So the tunnel is all like kind of idea rather than just a. Um, what's this bolded word? Sugini. Hey, it does look. It does have a similar meaning to suguni. Suguni has um tokuzetsu as its kanji. Suguni, right there. 
right? Immediately. But this word means quickly or um, suddenly. I have a second um, guess for it. Unique. I do need perfect. Um, and uh, kunedu specifically, because you're wondering what the Pacific definition of kunedu was, is to wiggle back and forth, or to bend loosely back Hi. and forth. So it has that kind of meaning. Um, do you know what butsukariao means or butsukaru? Butsukariao is um. Butsu is just. Yeah. Oh, Mommy, I forgot this one. Hey, right. so do you know what owl means? Let's first check that. What is owl, owl is to, to, fit, fit up, to fit together. Yeah, it does mean it needs to match to fit. When we do this with verbs, it means I do the action and something does the action as well. So it has some kind of mutual um, meaning. For example, niramu means to glare and niramiyao means to glare at each other. So this means two things are doing butsukaru, which is actually the kinzoku and kinzoku. So these two things are both doing butsukaru, and they're both doing butsukaru to each other. Butsukaru is to smash into each other, smash into something. So butsukariyao is just, you know, doing that with the kinzoku in the sentence. So it's a smash into butsukari, butsukaru. Um, so right here, it's not butsukari ao, it's butsukatte from butsukaru, which means to smash. So let's go read the line from the book. Magari kuneta. Uh, waki michi. Right. O tsusumu uchi. Mae o iku beneto ga kyu ni tachi do matta no de butsukatte shimatta. Uchi meaning during the time that we continue through the side streets that wind that was winding like through and fro like it's right perfect the side street snaking it's snaking it, it, um the twisted the twisting hi, hi. Uh, side street um <clears throat> uh Bennett came. Uh, Bennett, who who was, Ika, who was going before me. Hi, who was going in the front area. Was going ahead. Hi, <laughs> Bennett, who was going ahead. He um. He tachi domatta. He come to a stop. So he he come to a standing stop suddenly. Right. Uh, therefore, uh, we smash into it. Uh, we we put to cut there. We smash. Right. Simata. And how I did mean, he I, feel about this? Like it, he he made an uh, mistake. He didn't like it. Yeah, he was he, sad about he, it. Uh, Oof! I I smashed into him. Ah, oh, hopefully Bennett doesn't punch me for that. So yeah, my I, is that location that's being marked by O. So it's not our destination. It's just saying the location in which the action is kind of occurring. So he's, Bennett is okay. ikuing, but not to the Mai. He just happens to be in the Mai. Bennett is probably ikuing to the um, Yami Ichi Hiroba, would be the guess that we would have with the context. Uh, right? He's going to some kind of destination, but he's going there while standing in the Mai position in front of Khan. Um, what does Niramu um, mean? Niramu. Oreo Niramu. Niramu tsukete. It's the glare. Yeah, it is the glare. Nice. Niramu tsukete. The glare at. 
what it's a passive form and what that's it to hand over. To have handed over. What Right. Um perfect. What does that do? Um how do you say this word? Saifu what? Saifu right. So the Saifu. string. The string wallet. The string. Okay, so let's go read this example sentence. Mirande ita yojimbo wa majutsu shi no de shi ni saifu himo kara do ka o watashita. The bodyguard that Nirande Ita, um, the bodyguard that that um, Nirande that was staring at me. What kind of staring? Niramu, Niramu. He, he, he glaring. He was I... glaring at me. The guard that was glaring at me. He, um, he watasta. He gave me, he handed me coins, doka. Where did he get these coins? From. He handed the coins, from the string, the himo, of the wallet. So the wallet strings. Right. Um. Uh, ni. Majutsushi no deshi ni um watashita. Doka o um. He handed the coins to the apprentice of right. the magician. Perfect. Yep. The bodyguard that was glaring handed over the coins to from his wallet that was made out of string, his string wallet, to the apprentice of the magician. Do you know how to read this word? Stu my. Perfect. What does that mean? I mean a number of um thin objects. Perfect. A number of thin flat objects. Nice. So it ended with my. What did it start with? Su. Perfect. So let's go read this example sentence. Watasareta. Um, the apprentice handed the apprentice received or he he was handed in other words he receives right. uh, a number of coins perfect Um, what does niramu mean? Niramu. Niramu is to glare. Perfect. Um, how about hazure kakatte iru? Hazure kakatte iru. Hachi no tobira. Hachi no tobira ga hazure kakatte iru. Hazire. It can't it it displays but it's still hold on. Yeah. It's, it's it was holding awful. on in spinal um flag. That's not the right word. Spinal string? Spinal something. Something like that. It displaced. Right. It's been displaced, but not a hundred percent, but just mostly displaced. So in this case you would assume if this was a door that the door is probably maybe has only one hinge left, perhaps. So it, it kind of oh. is like at an angle. Versus if you didn't have Kakaridu, that would mean it's fully displaced and probably doesn't have any hinges and is like stuck in the bushes somewhere. Would be the idea. 
Um, so Hi. very similar to that word is this guy. I don't think they share kanji, funnily enough, but hazusu means to um, take off, to disconnect something. Hazusu. Um, what is the te form of this verb? Hazusu te form. Hazusu shita. Hi, hazusu shite. Uh, what does niramu mean? Niramu. Niramu is the glare. Right. Yeah, I just gotta throw it in a lot of times because it's a really hard word for you. Uh, sashi dasu. So that's it is like to take something out of your bag, right? That's it. It makes something appear out. And sasu is normally like to point a lot of the times or to indicate something. So sashi dasu is used to mean to hold out or to present something to somebody. You're taking something out and trying to indicate it to someone somehow. Sashi dasu. And what is the term form of right. sashi dasu? Sashi dasu. Okay. Okay. Just... Here is our last line of the day. Donetto wa ore o niramu to nebari kara watasare tarashi saifu himo o toridashi doka o Sumai Hanzu Shite Oreni Sashidasta. Sashidasta is to take something out to show, right, Mani? Yes, to kind of shove it into someone's face. To present it to shove someone. Shove it in the face. Present. Bennett, he glares at me and um he takes out the uh, string wallet and it seems to be from it seems to was given by nevari karawata sareta right mani right yep. it seems to be given from nevari Yep, so the idea is um, that it's not Bennett's Saifu Himo, it's Nebri's Saifu Himo. Hazushite. Uh, hazusu, Mani, please, Hai. one more time, remind. Hai. So, Hazusu is the same verb as Hazureru. Hazureru, but Hazureru takes ga. Ha. Zusu takes o. So this allows you to do more actions. So tobure ga hazureru means that the door is totally gone. It's completely disconnected. So hazusu would mean to make something disconnect from something else, to take something off of something, to disconnect it. So here he is disconnecting something from the saifu himo, is the context here. It doesn't specifically state that, but it's a logical assumption to make since we have toridasu, right? He takes this out. So it's logical assume that this is involved for some reason with these actions, right? Shite. He sumai hazushite. He take, he disconnect a number of coins and sashidashita, he shove it, he present it to me. Perfect. Yep. Kozol's getting some money. How exciting. Um, and that's where we 